Welcome back from lunch. I hope you had a great break. Good to be here with my close friends. Uh, I am excited to talk a little bit about education and Web3 and lots of fun. I am coming all the way from Fargo. So who else here is from Fargo? This guy? No, no. Fargo? No? Okay. Uh, so let's, let's get, dive into it. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Fargo. So Fargo is where I'm from. If you've seen the movie or TV show, it looks a lot like that, right? So I'm coming to you all the way from Fargo, and I think it's the perfect place to work in Web3, because if we can make Fargo the middle of somewhere, we can make anywhere the middle of somewhere, right? If I can live there and work with Avalanche, with AI, with blockchain, like we can make this happen anywhere. And that's what I'm really excited about with Web3, is unlocking opportunity. So in the next couple minutes, we're gonna do three things. We are going to shear the sheep, we're going to halt the train and we're going to defy the gods. So let's talk a little bit about education. There's three big problems that we have in our education systems around the world. The first is a recognition gap. So if you don't finish college, if you go to seven out of eight semesters, do you get paid seven eighths of a graduate? No, not at all, right? What employers are paying for is the piece of paper, what's known as the sheepskin effect. Essentially, we go to school, we go to university to get the piece of paper because that bumps us up into a new pay strata, right? And it doesn't mean that we necessarily know the thing that we went to or that we have skills, but we have the piece of paper. So we have a recognition gap in education that people don't know how to understand what we know. The second problem we have is a wisdom gap. So in 1904, a guy by the name of Andrew Carnegie said, I need people to work in my factory, right? So he was the train baron. He was building railroads all across the United States. So he went to all the universities in the United States and he said, can we implement a system where the number of hours you're in a seat correlates to a number of credits that you'll get? And the teacher said, no, that's ridiculous. He said, how about I pay for your retirement? So he offered to pay for the retirement of all the professors at all the universities in the United States. At the end of 12 months, by the end of 1904, 90% of the universities had adopted what's known as the Carnegie Unit. So if any of you went to university, you probably received something from the Carnegie Unit, which is essentially credits, right? You go to a class, you get three credits. The number of credits is based on how long you're in the seat, uh, not how long the course is, uh, how much material there is, but we know that just sitting in the seat doesn't mean that you get skills, right? So we have a wisdom gap. Employers can't recognize what we know. We don't actually know if we know what we say we know. And the third problem is an opportunity gap. So there's a problem in education known as the Matthew effect. So if you've read your Bible recently, you maybe remember Matthew 25, 29, for to all those who have more will be given and they will have an abundance. But for those who have nothing, even what they have will be taken away. Basically, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So one thing that we have that happens in education is as we introduce new technology, new methods, the people who are already ahead move further ahead because they have access, right? They have support at home. They have uh, the pieces in place to take advantage of new technology. Those who don't have access fall further behind. So we have this problem where we need to understand how people, like we need to recognize what people know, we need to actually show skills, and then we need to make sure that everyone can access it. So this is the big problem in education. And I believe that we can do that with a model known as learn and earn, which I want to tell you about. So at Metacrafters, we are creators, we are builders, and our goal is to advance one million builders into next generation jobs in Web3 and AI. So the way that we do that is with a learn, earn, and land model. And I believe it's not just something that's exciting for Metacrafters, but I think for Avalanche specifically, we can really point the way to a different way to learn. Education's an Olympic sport now. Every four years, we are going to have to reskill, if not faster, right? So we need to come up with models that can actually support this change. So the way that we do that first is that we teach builders key skills in blockchain and AI. Along the way, they earn rewards for finishing classes and they complete bounties instead of tests. They actually complete tasks that build a portfolio and earn them money. And then finally, we have a job board where we're talking to employers, asking them what skills they need. The skills from employers get implemented into the courses, right? And then when students graduate, we can match them to the open jobs. So this is what we call a next-gen dev skills platform. And we not only are talking to employers, learning what skills they need, we have practitioners teaching the classes, right? So you're learning from people who have done it, not just people who talk about it. So at Metacrafters, all of our beginner courses are free, and what we do is we give NFT credentials along the way. So as soon as you learn a skill, you get an NFT. You don't have to finish the entire course to get recognized, right? You don't need to get the sheepskin at the very end, you get it along the way. You can also come in and just prove your skills. 
So you don't have to take my class if you already know it, right? It's the equivalent of walking into an economics class and saying, I already know it, let me just take the test at the end. Just come in and do the project, get the NFT, so that you can get the job, right? So what we do is we partner with leading blockchains like Avalanche, and we give rewards as students complete the courses. Beginner courses are free. You earn 50 bucks when you finish. Intermediate courses are 50 bucks. You earn 100 bucks when you finish. And advanced courses are 100 bucks. You earn 200 bucks when you, th when you finish. Or just come in and get the reward if you already have the skills, right? We know that by, by giving a little bit of incentive with uh, economic rewards and, and time, that our students are more likely to complete. By giving our students wraparound support with peer mentors and practitioners, they're more likely to, to complete. And by doing actual projects with actual companies and bounties, they're more likely to complete, right? Because what we need to do is pull people through. So we're really excited about the future of this. What we have in the Ethereum ecosystem already is the ETHProof course, the Polygon course. We have an AI course where you learn how to code faster with AI. And we're really excited today, right now, to launch our Avalanche course. So you can come into, uh, uh, into MetaCrafters and take the Avalanche Proof Intermediate course. Um, it starts by, by learning basic EVM tools and then diving into Avalanche and then the advanced course. So our intermediate course is building on Avalanche. So you can learn about the three different chains. You can learn about Snowtrace. You end by actually launching a, a, a contract on the C chain. So here's the, con the project that we do in the intermediate course. If any of you out there are developers and you're like, I actually know how to do this, just come in and take the project. It'll take you around an hour. You'll get the NFT and you'll get opportunities on our job board, right? As you move into the advanced, you learn about subnets, building subnets in the wild, everything there. Here's the project for that where we're making a DeFi Kingdoms clone with our students. And then I think we're proud to say we're the first uh, course that's teaching Hyper SDK. So we've been working with Usman at the team at Avalanche to, to try to bring the newest features of Avalanche out into the community and, and getting people to build on it. So here's an example of the project there. So we really think that Web3, Avalanche in particular, can not only train devs, for, for important jobs of the future, we can actually reinvent what education looks like. We can create a model where you recognize what people learn along the way instead of having waiting until the end. You can actually give people skills, the wisdom, not just sitting in a chair, right? And then you can match skills with jobs. So there's opportunity for everyone. So we're really excited to, to offer this course out today. We hope that you'll share it. We hope that you'll take it. We'll hope that you tell people about it. Um, it. As we said, you're earning rewards along the way, and we have a special offer for all of the Avalanche attendees. But most importantly, we want you all today to build. We need more builders in the space, and we need to make it easier to bring those people on board, which is why MetaCrafters is here. So I hope you'll enter the academy. Uh, happy to talk afterwards, and have a great conference. Thanks.